Hello everybody, Trackmaster Productions 2016 back in and today we're going to be doing a review of Real Steam Thomas. Now this is the first ever Real Steam Thomas of last year, 2015, it came out in, uh, in 2015, but I just recently got it this year. So we're going to be taking a look at it, we're going to get right into it, we're going to take a look at the back. It says, it's time to race full steam ahead, watch Thomas produce real, real cool to touch steam as he speeds along the rails. Use the included dropper to fill Thomas with water and as he moves forward he'll spout out two different plumes of steam from his funnel. A continuous stream or sporadic puffs. So it says remove the dropper from the car, fill it with water, use the dropper to fill Thomas and it says also available real steam. So we're gonna, we're gonna get right into it right now. So here we go. Real steam Thomas. Okay, so we got the box out of the way. I'm gonna put the box down. I'm gonna pull Thomas out. Ooh, looks really, really nice. It's really nice. I'm gonna get the drop out of there. There's the drop out. Ooh, very flexible. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so there's a lot of things you have to learn about this, Thomas. There's the tank car. First ever Trackmaster 2 tank car here. A lot of things you have to learn, know about this Thomas, okay? So we're going to kind of go through. It says how to fill Thomas with steam. It's best to use cold distilled water um, and all that. Never use hot water. Use cold distilled water. And then there's two holes on Thomas, okay? There's two holes. This here is the water hole. Fill the water in that. Never fill the water in the funnel or the air hole. Fill the water in the water hole over here with the riding. It says water over here. Okay. Never fill it in the funnel and never fill it in the air hole. Okay. Because you could probably tell in the air hole the, the dropper does not fit. In the water hole, the dropper fits right inside, okay? Fits right inside. Then when you're done with it, you drain the water out. I don't know how in the world you do that. You drain the water out, okay? Now, I don't know how in the world I'm going to modify this with hook and chain couplers. I'll have to try and see. I don't want to ruin anything. But, um, yeah. So we're going to get right into it. Let's try to find my screwdriver, wherever he is. Oh, there you are. Well, here's one screwdriver, not my regular screwdriver. So you unscrew it here. Ah. There you go. There's the unscrewing shot for you guys. Hopefully it's on camera. Okay. Nope, it's not done yet. Oh, well look at that. Takes two, three AAA batteries. Okay, so we're gonna put three AAA batteries in. Put one there. One there. One there. Let's see if it works. Ooh, it works, okay. Works perfectly. Now I wonder if I can modify this. Oh, don't turn on. Okay. I wonder if I can modify this with hook and chain couplers. This will be kind of a fun, like, to make it. Okay. Okay. So, let's fill them up with water. Okay. Now, again. Remember, when you fill this engine up, we're going to turn around. Fill this hole here, okay? Fill this hole, because the water dropper fits right inside the hole there, okay? It will not fit in there, and it will do not fill in there. Fill it on the water hole, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to turn this engine on. I'm going to put water in it. Oh, we just overfilled it a little bit. Okay, here we go. Real Steam Thomas, first run. 
Look at that. That is awesome. Look at the steam coming out of the stack. That is cool. That's so cool. Look at that. Thank you guys so much for watching, leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe.